Hi everyone! I decided outside was a wonderful place to talk to you about one of my greatest passions, is play. Why play? You guys must be tired of hearing about play. I know, I was too. But honestly, if there's one thing I need, I want to prove the importance of, is free play in kindergarten. Not structured play, free play in pre-K and K. It's supported by so many specialists, by the school board, even by us. We, un I think you guys understand the importance of letting a four and five year old play freely and be themselves. But there are a lot of things to consider. Oh my God, what happens when they're noisy? What can we do? There's so many in the classroom, blah, blah. Well, I worked very hard on that and I'm very happy to be able to give you in the, in the next couple of days a wonderful booklet called Making Sense of Free Play. The who, what, when, where, why's of free play. Now, when you see this little booklet, I will be sending it to your schools in color with beautiful pictures that one of our teachers made for my book. You will be able to look at it and read through it with the research that, I, that, has, that proves the importance of having it very much every day and how to install it in your class. It answers your worries, it answers your role as a teacher, and I'm sure it'll be a great help. I'm very excited to have you see that and look through it. And in the next couple of weeks after Christmas, mostly, I will be going in your schools around the school board as much as I can, and we can sit down and talk about this little book that I made for you and see how I could best help you with the installation of real, true, authentic free play in your classroom. Now, just before I leave, I would like you to take, a to take the time to see the link in the bottom of the video. I know it's in French and it's a hassle because not all of you are attuned with the language or it might be a barrier, but it's a very interesting presentation from Dr. Chiquin, which is a, a, a pediatre from Montreal, in which he talks about different things. He does state that preschool is not the best place for children, which I do not agree. And the point of the article, of the uh, report, is not to talk about that, but in his conversation with the reporter, he talks about free play. He talks about uh, screening process, which is very interesting, his views on that. And he also talks about the importance of free play for, he says, three to five hours a day. He says that we shouldn't, pr he shows proof that through free play and other and word play, uh, uh, not writing, not reading, teaching the kids to do, it doesn't do anything for third and fourth grade reading and writing. But when you play with words, with sounds, when you touch letters, when you free, let the kids free play, that's when they get really competent readers and writers. So among other things, and he does talk about the dangers of uh, over scolarisé, I'm sorry with for uh, over, over teaching to our kids. So take the time, if you can, to listen to it's 16 minutes uh, from Dr. Shikwin and you'll find it very interesting, his different views on, and his tricks on uh, what a four-year-old child is. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you soon. Enjoy the, the little video and the booklet I will be sending. Bye!